Hey everybody, welcome to AADL TV again. I'm your host Colin and today we are going to make something that uh, I think everybody needs. I think we are going to help people. Uh, we are going to give people big, big hugs. Um, and we're going to make a card that jumps off the page and gives people hugs. So joining me are my master crafters. First, I have uh, master craft Lillian yes. Q Simpson. Yes. yes. You can help me with this one. And then I have uh, Spider-Man Simpson over here. <laughs> and then we have Miss Rowan. Hi, Ro. Hi. All right. So there's a few things that we're going to need. And there's a few... A few different ways to do it. The main thing you need is a piece of paper. You need a white piece of paper that we're going to fold and make it uh, be our monster that gives people a hug. No, don't we need Very to? Very easy. Um, so it depends. Lily and I are going to show you how to use paint and make a splatter paint and blow on the page with a straw to splatter the paint. And that's going to be our cool monster. If you don't want to do that, if you feel like it's messy or you don't have any paints at home, Jonah and Rowan are going to use crayons instead and just make a bunch of scribbles to be the monster. And then we're going to put googly eyes on our monster. So that's easy. So Rowan and Jonah, I'm going to ask you to hold off. If you're using crayons, let's wait until we're ready to fold our paper. It's easier to fold our paper and make the card that we're going to do and then draw on it so you'll know where stuff goes. But for Lily and I, we're going to try this paint part of it. So we're going to do our paint first, and then while it's drying, then we will all fold the card together and see how this thing works, right? So Lily and I have decided to do the messy part because we thought it would be fun. All right, we are going to take some paint that we want. I'm going to choose one color. For instance, I'm going to choose green randomly. She choose what color are you going to choose, Lil? Orange. Orange. All right, so here's the trick. We have a little bit of water with us. I, I pulled water in a cup, I'm gonna pour this onto our paint. So I'm gonna put, hold on, not paint on the page. I'm gonna put paint, um, like this paint, in a little cup, an old cup, and then I'm gonna add water to it to make it watery. Because then if it's watery, you It'll can blow on. on it with the straw and it spreads all over the place. If I just used paint and blew on this paint, it wouldn't spread very much. It's just kind of gloopy. So I'm gonna take, my color green for a green must. I want blue. Blue's my favorite. I'm gonna do blue. And you're doing orange, huh? So I'm just gonna, I don't need very much at all. So I'm just gonna put a dab of uh, blue paint in there. Bloop. It's probably enough. I'm just gonna make one quick Wait, splooch. Um, yeah, Mine so isn't that watery, so. And well, it's not supposed to be water. Then I'm gonna add some water, but again, not very much. I don't want it too watery. Oopsies. Too much water. Whoa! And then I'm gonna mix it up. Oh, you know what I didn't get, Lil, is uh, a paintbrush for me. Or a straw. Will you grab uh, I'm not very prepared, I guess. Will you grab me a, a paintbrush yes. over there? I'm gonna swirl this together. I don't know if you can kind of see, but it's it's bright. And, but it's dark, but it's really liquidy, which is going to help. I'm, I might need more paint. Thanks, Ro. Rowan just gave me a straw. I'm going to stir mine all up. Mine's really watery. I might need a little bit more paint, I think, because it's too watery. It's hard to make that ratio. So I'm going to add just a dollop more paint. Ah! Why not? And stir it up. Is it's this hard. Good Oh, that's perfect. That See, Lily did it great because hers isn't very watery. It's it's watery enough, but it's not really thick. I'm sorry. It's not really thin. It's still kind of thick. So here's what we can do. Uh, Lily and I, we're going to take the middle of our page. We're just going to splotch some paint on there. And then I'm going to blow on it and see if it kind of spreads out a little bit into a crazy, crazy thing. So I'm going to try mine. I bet Lily's will turn out better than mine, but we'll see. And then while we wait for this to dry, I'll show you guys how to fold the card. So I'll just do this quickly. Uh, pour it in there. Whoa. I should turn it around. Maybe go this way. See, I, mine's really watery. So, Lil, you do yours. Yours is looking pretty awesome. 
Oh, yeah. Dang it. I like that. There we go. Yeah. And the more I blow on it, the more it kind of dries out, too. Oh, yeah. Cool. What a weird monster. So I'm going to wait for this to dry because we can do the rest of our card and then maybe cut this out and put it on the card. Wow, that's cool. So I'll set this aside, wait for it to dry a little bit. And Lily and I will get another piece of white paper. And you guys, hi, hi, hey, I missed you. Um, you guys at home, thank you for being patient if you weren't using watercolors or, or paints, I mean. So for the rest of us, let's make our card and then once it's folded, you'll see where you need to put your monster. It's easy. Yeah, I'm going to show you right now, Jonah Bear. Um, here's what we're going to do. Here's our piece of paper. We're not going to make it tall. We're going to do it sideways. Everybody got the sideways paper? Yeah. First things first, fold it in half. It's okay to do it on the, on the table, but fold it in half the long way, like hot dog style, right? Hot dog, oh, oh. not a hamburger. That's okay, as long as we don't get in there. We'll wash that up. We spilled a little paint. That's what happens when you use paint. Okay, so we made it long, didn't we? Good job. I'll help you, Jonah. Bro, how are you doing over there? Good job. All right. Yes. Yeah, we got it. Rowan did it. I did it. So that's this is the basis of our card. We're going to do a little bit of cutting, but the person opening it is going to go open it this way. So here's what we'll do. Open it up to the inside of our card. And if we have a pen or a marker, I'll use a black marker. You guys can use a pen. Hopefully this marker works. You can draw a line. Sorry. You can draw right on this line. Maybe draw a hand where you want hands way spread out. We're going to make two hands way spread out. And I'm just going to do scribbles for my hands. Watch this. Rum, 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 rum. Way out there and way out here. Rum, 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 rum. Then I'm going to take this line that we folded on and just draw it in for a while. Those are the arms. Look, my black turned out to be like green. You guys see that at home? That's all I did was I spaced them out and I put this close to the edge. I drew a squiggle for like a hand. And you can draw a really nice hand if you want. Then another squiggle over here, and then I drew a line here for his arm and a line here for that arm. You see that, Rowan? Oh, Jonah's doing big hands, and I like it. That looks great. That looks great. And remember, it's a monster, so it can be as goofy and crazy as you want. So while they're doing that, now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say something on my card. And if you at home don't know how to write yet, then you can get your grown-up to write this for you. So here's what my, my card is going to say when I'm done cutting it and everything. If I fold it over, and I'm going to say, let's say I want this to be, be the top when I open it. So I'm going to write right here to say, sending you, watch this, send you dot 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 sorry you're looking at my face that's not fun sending you and then when I open it up I'm gonna choose to say on the top sort of color. Here's blood through. that's gonna be okay John I'm gonna say at the top where I open it up sending you so this is my top. I'm going to write right there, a monster hug. And I'll help you guys. A monster hug. See that? Sending you. And open it up. A monster hug. Oh, 
Jonah, I can help you because um, we'll do that part afterwards, okay? So we don't have to write the words right now. We will write it afterwards, and that's okay. So here's the part, guys. Um, here's the part where we need scissors. We're going to cut a little bit, and then once we've cut, we can fold that, fold our arms, and our arms will pop out of the page at the person we're sending this to. So if we can see kind of where we've written, we don't want to cut off our words, do we? So you want to cut straight down. And you're cutting, you're going to cut almost straight down this whole side, except we're going to leave our arms and cut around the arms. So we're going to cut down, out, and back, and then down again. So if you wanted to draw a pencil maybe and follow those lines, you could do that. You could also just cut. It doesn't need to be perfect or great. Here, I'll help you to show you where we're cutting, we're going to cut straight down all the way to about where the arms are, and then straight all the way out, and then follow that line straight all the way, sorry, all the way down the page. Same thing here, all the way down, and then leave room for this arm. And you could make it perfect. It doesn't have to be. It's going to be fine. I hope you guys can see my lines. That's what I'm going to cut. I'm going to try to cut straight and then cut over here so I leave my arms. And then cut this way and straight down. All right? So I'm going to actually, I can see through my page a little bit. I'm going to cut it this, I'm going to cut it this way because I can see through my page. That way I'm cutting two things at once. Watch this. I can see through that page and I know I won't cut through my hand that I drew. So I'm just going to cut right like that. And then I'll cut straight up. There's my last A. So I'm just going to cut here so I know I won't cut the A off. Look at that. Same thing here. I can see where I wrote. So I'm just going to cut here so I don't cut off anything I wrote. And cut down to about there. That's how I'm going to do it because it's more efficient that way. So now you see this is what my card looks like. And then I open it up and it's going to look like that. All right, Jonah, how about for you, I'm just going to cut yours and we will write your words later. So if this is your picture, we want the picture on the, wait, no, this is the inside, right? Good. Do that. I'm going to fold it over. And using these little scissors, I'm going to cut down to here. And it's line right here. Not, you're cutting my S. I know, that's going to be okay. looks like and then you open it up and there's our monster inside or that way okay so now now that we have our card okay I'll, I'll help you with yours in a little bit unless you need scissors now that we have our card yeah well you can cut right on those lines just like that just yeah okay here's the folding part this is the part where we fold it and it makes it into a pop-up card, okay? So see how when we open it back up, we have a fold on the arms, right on those arms, right? So watch this. Let's open it up, lay it down, if you can see that. Now that there's a fold on this arm, take the outside and fold it backwards the other way, starting at the corner. Fold it together and then pinch it so that you've now folded it the other way. Get to about right there until where it, you'll see it gets uncomfortable. It's like, oh, I can't fold it anymore. Don't force it. Go to about right there. And I haven't folded the rest yet because it, it's hard. So fold a little bit there. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Fold it backwards and 
Jonah, I will help you because this is probably difficult for five-year-olds. So I folded both of these backwards, but not all the way yet. Now watch this. Now if I fold this up like I'm going to close it, take your arm and push it down here. Like that. Yep, I will help you, buddy. See that? Now, so I took my arms, folded them backwards, brought it down to inside here. Now if I fold this card, I can kind of smooth that yes. out. Mine is kind yeah. of sideways. This is great. This is great. Can you see that? Woo! Now I folded that real hard. And now I'm going to work with a little more. Oh, good job. So now, this is what my card looks like. Oh gosh, it keeps tipping. Sending you whoop, a monster hug. If I pull on it, it opens up. Now we're going to take what we colored. Whoa, mine's still dripping. And we can put it right there. So if that was hard to follow, I'll show you again with Jonah's, and then I'll show you again with Rowan's because it's difficult. Good job, Ro. You're getting there. Take those arms, roll. hold on, don't, don't do it, don't keep doing that. You're almost there. So, we have a fold right here, right? This is the beginning of our card. We opened it up, there's Jonah's monster. So now take, take these arms rolling, can you watch? And fold this fold backwards. It wants to go one way, but make it go the other way. Same thing with this one. I'm going to take this fold, and instead of folding it normal, I'm going to fold it backwards. Then, as I'm doing that, make my make the card sit up, and you can slowly take the arm and bend it all the way in. Take that, bend it in, help to fold it. There. So now your corners are kind of triangles, aren't they? And that's okay. Now when you open it. Oh, look at that. It pops up. So what will make this nice, hold on, Jonah. Mine doesn't is pop all the way we're gonna, up. We're going to um, draw more monster stuff. Or you, can, or you can paint a splotch or color. Just color scribbles and scribbles and scribbles. And then just put googly eyes on it. Jonah did not want to do googly eyes. He wanted to draw his. And that's perfect. Um, Ro, do you need help with yours? Good job. I'll show you one last time. Good job. You folded your arm backwards. This is how her card goes. It opens up like this. So she folded this arm back. And she folded this arm back. So the only trick now is to lay it down and kind of sit it up. And you can fold it into the inside of your card and into the inside of your card. And then fold it down like that. Now, Lily, will you do the, us the honors of watch that, whoop, getting us colored paper? If we get nice colored paper, yeah. then we can uh, glue this to that so but that our card isn't the so The only problem is the sending you will get covered up. Oh, yeah, duh. So we just need to write that on our other card, our nicer card. Yeah, yeah. Mine only sticks out straight, see? <laughs> you have to pull on the bottom. It still comes out. It's funny. <laughs> okay, I'll okay, get some colored paper. And Rowan, you're going to take your monster and make scribbles and colors and lots of cool shapes and then put googly eyes on it, right? And I, mine is still super wet. So I could either wait a whole day or get a dry, uh, drying iron. What do you call those? A hair dryer? I don't know. I don't have one of those. So that's fine. I'm just going to show you guys what we can do with markers instead. I'm going to take some colors, blue and green. And I'm just going to draw some squiggles. Okay. 
You can do whatever you want, guys, right? If you wanted to use paint, you can use paint. If you want to use markers or crayons, you can use markers or crayons. Then, um, where'd you guys put those Google eyes? Uh, right here on the cat. Aha! Do you want the green? The green. Um, sure, sure. Green paper. All right. Now I'm just gonna put some googly eyes on mine. Just why not? Are these the kind that you have to glue on, or they have a sticker on? Oh. See, what you need is when you're crafting, you need an assistant, someone to get you stuff while you're crafting. Um, Miss Assistant, can you give me a glue stick? Of course. These will be a lot more fun if they peel off. Are you sure they don't peel off? Yeah, they don't. They look like they don't. Boy, these are some big ones. All right, pause. We're going to have to look for glue sticks. Pause, please. Okay, we found it. We have some glue stick in the house somewhere. We got it. Okay. So the only thing I was doing was gluing my eyes on. And you guys can spend more time making crazy cool monsters. This is just a quick one for an idea for you guys. So I'm going to stick an eyeball right there. Stick another eyeball. And you can have seven eyeballs because it is a monster. So that's okay. Or four. And then anybody else need it? Uh, no, I'm waiting for my paint. You could have a mouth. You can have a mouth. If you want. Don't have to. <laughs> Sending you a monster hug. Oh, I need a huggy. Okay, so take Hi, your Sarah. colored paper. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to um, have kind of a framing card to make it a nicer card than just a flimsy piece of paper. So any colored paper you want. Uh, I'm going to grab green. Jonah, what color did you get? Oh, I got blue. Like a blue, like a periwinkle. So here's what we think. Jonah had a good idea. Since we went the long way, a hot dog way to make this card, right? The what if we way. make this the tall way and fold it in half the hamburger way? Whoa, you can't see me anymore. It's hard to do this on the screen because it's backwards for me. So let's do this the hamburger way. Fold it right in half. Jonah, you already did that, right? So now that we've got a fold, we can take our nice card, monster card, and Lily was right. It's silly to say sending you on the front because we're going to glue this in, so you can't, we'll have to write that again. Um, but we'll stick it in where we want it, and then we're going to glue it in here. Now, here's the thing. We're not going to glue our arms down. We want the arms to move. So let's glue only the bottom to here and the top to here and let it open and shut. Can I try it right now? Can I try it? Yes. You can, you can try it right now. All right, there goes Lily. She's going to do it, folks. She's going to do it. Forgot to put the cap on the paint. That's going to dry out. Hopefully, I did. All right. Okay. So All first, right. I'm going to close it. Oh, good idea. Okay. You have you you must be a master crafter. Is that why you were invited to do this craft? Mm, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, good to know. What crafting school did you go to? A University of Crafting. That's prestigious. I've seen that one. Okay, so Lily has decided to put the glue on the white back part of the paper. And then fold it in and stick the whole thing down. Okay. Here we go. Oh, your arms just come right out. And it says on the top, it says a monster hug. Hold it up for everybody to see. It says a monster hug. So she can decide to draw right there, but since we painted, yes. we're kind of waiting for our paint to dry. And we could cut out our paint monster and stick it in there. I'm going to write. So I'm going to do. Yeah, I spilled water. Whoops. Oh, well. Crafting is messy, you guys. Okay. I'm going to do like Lily did. That was a great idea. I'm going to... I'm going to... 
put my glue stick all over the top. My Google eyes are really big. Okay, then, then what she did was put this right in the fold line. That was a great idea. Put it right in that fold line, right in the middle, and fold my card right on it so that it, I know it's right. I'll help you with that part, Will. Good job. All right. I got big Google eyes. So now that that's stuck on there, that was really smart. So now we'll put it on the back of the white side. Yeah, our paint still isn't dry yet. If well, I had a hair dryer, it would be dry by now. But that would splatter everywhere. Yeah, maybe. Splattering is good. It's a monster. You may, sir. I've been waiting for it. Then I'm glad I brought it. on it. This eyeball is sticky, so I just oh, took arrows. Arrows. This eyeball is sticky, so I just stuck it on. Oh, it really stuck? Yeah. That's cool. I'll help you with yours, though. I'll, I'll send over there. I'll watch, watch everybody. So, this is my card. Now I can write, sending you, and then open it up. No, it was upside down. <laughs> now I read it on this side. Sending you a monster hug. It is cute. Oh, isn't that cool? It would look pretty cool if I was able to put this in there as my monster. I don't know. Like that. Or like this. But mine's still wet. So I'm not going to. Why is my monster big. hug? Oh, my word. All right. Let's do it with Rowan's. Are you ready, Rowan? Alright, there's our guy. You got these folded backwards, so what you want is to go in then. Like that. That's good. Mm -hmm. So now just put glue on the bottom of your white thing. Oh, John has the glue stick. Oh, John, there. Wait, what is that? He thinks it's the eyeball. Yeah, the Google eyes stick out a little bit, don't they? Now when you, since you're working on that, I'm going to draw it on mine. Now watch. Now this time, I'm going to make sure I have the right side. So a monster hog. So this I know has to be my front because I want them to open it like that. So on the front, I'm going to write, sending you. Wait. And I'm a grown up, so I know how to write, so I'm going to do it myself. But if you don't know how, you can get your grown up to do it. So, okay, where are you? Okay, so where did you put the where did you put the glue, honey? You told me to put it on this side, so I put it on that yeah, side. That's great. That's face. perfectly great. That's perfectly great. So where's hold on, Jonah has a bit much glue, but we don't want to we want to have enough for everybody, right? So just like you said, yep, right like that, right like that. Good, good, good. So now put it right in the crease. You fold it. Down. Yeah. Good. Hold on, buddy. Almost. You gotta make yours. So Jenna's doing it too. Make it right on that line. That's the only way this works. Is if it's right on the same fold. If both pieces of paper fold the same spot. Now, do the exact same thing, row, just like that. Now that it's glued down, then watch this, guys. So, so her top of her monster is glued down. She's going to put glue all it over here open. and then fold it. No, it's not done, Jonah. You're not done. Now, glue it here to here. we got one more step. Yep, see, we're running out of glue, guys. I guess we gotta go to the store, buy more glue. Michael. Or we go to the crafting factory. That's, you know, because we do so much crafting, we should just go to the factory. All right, like fold that down, stick it. 
Okay. I should write it right here. Sending you. Show them, Rowan. A monster hug. Oh, upside down. Sending you. Ah, that's so cute. That's so cute. Okay, guys. Last step is. Where'd that glue stick go? You want more glue? Don't glue the arms down, remember? Okay. Um, I know that this is the right side up when we open it because it says a monster hug. So right here I'm going to write sending you. Yes. Lily, you already did that? You want to show them yours? We got a little wet spot right there. So that's okay. Uh, I can't glue my eyeballs yet, but I'm going to use three Dad, can you? little oh, eyeballs. Show them what it looks like when you open it. Sending you. Oh, mm -hmm. a monster hug. And you're going to put your yes, artwork right on there. What if they don't know it's a monster hug? That's um, why we're going to write on it, so they can read that. All right, what color do you want to write on it, Jonah Bear? I don't really you need to dot, dot, dot. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us again on AADL TV. Um, Jonah says goodbye. Rowan says goodbye. And so does Liz. All right. If you guys like what you see, please hit the like button or subscribe to AADL TV to get more story times and crafts and, and lots of fun stuff. And give uh, it gives us an idea of what people are liking. Whoa! Jonah's card is super cool. And so is Rowan's. All right, guys. Take care. Stay safe. Give hugs and love each other. Bye-bye.